So, so do it. One, two, three. Gentlemen, with this, may I please invite for RGB sir also. No? Govinda, 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 Govinda. Welcome, sir. The stage is all yours. Thank you all for coming. Uh, obviously, my long career as Sarkar has been probably the one of the most uh, effective films I've made. And uh, I've become a director mainly because uh, of watching Amitabh Bachchan from right from my teens or whenever. The whole idea of power and uh, intense performances, obviously in India, I think it started with Mr. Bachchan. And even till now, it's only him. And I doubt that ever an actor will come in cinema who can surpass Amitabh Bachchan. So one important thing I wanted to do in, in Sarkar 3, I feel Amitabh Bachchan became what he was in the concept of an anger, so-called the angry man who stood for repression in terms of injustice or anything which the common man wanted for. They saw that outlet in the characters he played right from Zanzir onwards. And I think that was one of the main reasons why he achieved such an unimaginable superstardom. And I felt over the last few years, in the, maybe in the, I would say the last decade, most filmmakers, uh, including myself, have taken him for granted. And trying to put him in roles which are probably complex and very difficult to perform, but I think we somewhere forgot the power which he represents and the anger against injustice, what he stands for. So I just wanted to revisit that and make it more powerful than ever. And that's where the tagline, anger than ever, comes from. So, I mean, to cut it short, the main thing of Sarkar 3 is I feel it's on a scale which is much more, the negative forces are much more larger, the issues are much more larger. So. Sarkati, in my view, is much more larger in every which way than the earlier two franchises. And also, I think this is the first time in Indian cinema that uh, a third part came with the same character, uh, saying the role. And I'm very proud to be a part of that. And probably Amitabh Bachchan, obviously, is the only actor who's ever done that, and uh, which has the same kind of uh, power. And its, its intensity in it is, uh, in its, uh, like one thing Abhishek said when he saw the, first time he saw the couple of scenes I shot, he said, Ramu, the only one problem I have with this is Amitabh Bachchan is looking 10 years younger than last time I saw him in Sarkar. <laughs> so I, I didn't know, but I think uh, Mr. Bachchan just kind of gets possessed into the character and what he thinks inside reflects outside and that's what I think it explains uh, the whole thing and thank you very much once again yeah thank you so much Ramu sir just just one question that I'd like to ask you before we call upon the cast uh, angrier than ever uski baat kar rahe. so was there a moment on the set jahan pe apne upar anger barsa ho aapke upar while while filming on me yeah see to start with uh, I think Samita was one of the most gentle persons I ever met in my life and which everyone knows for that for that for a fact the most sensitive person so I think his anger, either he hides it, and in real life he performs as a gentle soul, or uh, other way around. So no one, none of us will ever know the truth. Who is the real Amitabh Bachchan? Right. So uh, to know the real Mr. Amitabh Bachchan, ladies and gentlemen, cast se shuruat karenge. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. All right, may I invite uh, on stage the producers, Mr. Parak Sangvi and Mr. Rahul Mitra first. Before the grand entry of the cast of this amazing movie. Give it up for them, ladies and gentlemen, please. Welcome, Mr. Rahul, Mr. Parak. Aapki association ke baare mein please thoda samay bataiye with Sarkar 3. Well, I'm associated with this film from the first franchisee, Sarkar, when Ra Ramu decided upon this film 
I think it was the best film I've ever made. So though I'm not making any more films anymore, but Sarkar is one thing which always be with me. Your thoughts. Um, hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, we at Wave Cinemas, we, we just try to come out with stuff which is uh, high on content and something that marries box office. So what better and bigger than Sarkar 3? It's been a wonderful journey and we are all very, very happy and privileged to be a part Super. of it. Super. Also would like to invite on stage Mr. Nandu Ahuja, who's the head, uh, senior vice president in their theatrical, Eros International. Give it up for him, ladies and gentlemen, please. Another rocking presentation, sir. Kya bolenge, Sarkar 3. Hi, good evening, everybody. All I want to say is that Eros is very proud and happy to be associated with Sarkar again. Uh, not again, I mean I was associated with the film earlier. And uh, very happy to be associated with Mr. Bachchan, Ramu sir, Alambara, Wave Cinemas. And we all hope that we make it a grand success at the box office on the 7th of April. It's so obvious sir, just, just look at this sir, full house hai. So now it's time to invite the amazing cast on stage, lekin uske liye chant to banta hai. So can we do some? Govinda, 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 Govinda. Give it up for the very talented Mr. Amit Saad, ladies and gentlemen. And with him, the very gorgeous, the very talented Miss Yami Gautam. Come on, come on, you got to make some noise now. Jaggu Dada ke liye zordar taliya ho jai Mr. Jackie Shroff. Wo bido. And ladies and gentlemen, the man who needs no introduction, Mr. Amitabh Bachchan. It's an honor to have you, uh, Rohini ma'am. Yeah, but thank you so much. Rohini. Welcome. Go in there. There, there, there. In the middle. Taliyan to banti hai, yar. Sarkar. Three. Mujhe jo sahi lagta hai, karta hu. Well, ab jab Sarkar ki entry ho chuki hai, so itna hi keh sakte hain ki it's over to Sarkar. So it's all yours, sir. The stage is all yours. Oh, thank you. Uh, please sit. <laughs> Where is it? Huh? Everybody sit down. I've got a mic. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen from the media for being here today. Uh, you've already seen the trailer. Um, most of these occasions happen when uh, all of us get together and we introduce ourselves to you and we talk about the film and, and lots of nice things are said about each of us but uh, I thought it would be better that if we talk to each other and find out um, what we think about each other and perhaps you will get some inkling of that as the conversation goes. Um, so, uh, Ramu, I'd like to, you know, initiate the, the conversation with you first. I have a, a, a member from my blog, uh, from my EF group, who is uh, some sort of an intellectual. And uh, when he came to know that I was having a press conference today for the release of Sarkar 3, he sent me uh, a short note. And I think that I would like to just read it out to you, and then maybe we can talk about it. He said, RGV has uh, Anne Rand bluntness. Anne Rand, the great writer, uh, in his style which suits his themes in a different way. Crime in his themes is in the eyes of the beholder. His characters make their own laws, which is rather challenging for an audience suppressed by protocols in our system. We are a nation of youth caught in a traffic snarl. All of them are on their own two feet, standing, pushing, pulling, or doing whatever it takes to move. And watching over this commotion is a calm mind that makes its own rules. I, I presume that he's talking about Sarkar. What made you choose this subject, uh, Ramu? See, 
to start with the i think the greatest uh, film like most people would agree with on is something like godfather you know? mm -hmm. godfather i never really thought was about mafia or crime or underworld it's about a man's sense of righteousness where what he felt was justice if the system had failed to do that and he would take it upon himself to award the justice to the person who suffered you know and that i thought was actually for me the soul of why first when i approached you to come to sarkar because for me you represented as vijay right from the beginning from zanzir onwards to various characters you did in the 80s and later on that you stood up and which is the reason i think the, there was a mass hysteria of the popularity of you through the characters what you portrayed so i wanted sarkar to be almost like a some condensation of that in one person but both in thought in performance and intense in everything yeah. yeah but ramu that is not me i mean that is the writer that's yeah. the writer's opinion about uh, the situation about the story uh, writers are basically the actors of every film and it is the thought process that they consume from a director director bolta hai ki mujhe is tarah ki kahani banani hai aur uh, writer jo hai wo actor hota hai screenplay writer hota hai i i just uh, designer i disagree designer, everything hota hai i disagree with that uh, sarkar the reason being i feel writer or director is about information eventually film is an emotional experience you have to feel the what the character is feeling suppose if i give the same dialogue exactly written same lighting and same taking everything and instead of you i put you i'm just giving an example for example a jitender it is not going to work Why so you say i mean, i I'm, i'm i'm saying that that's what everybody knows if amitabh bachchan is feeling the emotion of what is written in that as no, a person sure as a person he is feeling that you know yeah, I, i think this is uh, this conversation is is going very personal but okay uh, <laughs> it is personal to me sarkar yeah, um, yeah. since you initiated you have to bear with me when when you when you design a screenplay ramu um you know every story needs to have a, a beginning a middle and an end which portion do you think of first the end the middle or the beginning sir so i just remind you of one small conversation we had uh, in the beginning of the first sarkar you know when i came and narrated uh, the first scene when rashid comes to meet you when you say that those famous lines mujhe jo sahi lagta hai main karta hu and then, uh, so i feel actually except for that scene i never had a story of sarkar in my mind mm -hmm. you know so for me if the character the way he says and what he says in what context works that hooks me onto the beyond that i just wanted something to start something to end with i never thought of anything right. beyond that now i remember you asked me this question why would you explain why would you say all these things to rashid who doesn't uh, think anything of you know that guy so my answer to you was uh, they would uh, he would speak because we want to listen amita bachchan say those lines you know so i think the when i said emotional experience it's not that sarkar is like a great very original story a lot of twists and turns and all that i think there's a connectivity to the emotion there's a relatability to the characters with the family and the father and son emotion more than anything else i think everyone wants to have a friend like sarkar everyone wants to have sarkar if, if i'm in terms of trouble i would like to go to sarkar i think that is the most important thing what i thought of yeah would would you agree with what my friend wrote about and rand and uh, her 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 bluntness in, in the way she expresses uh, and rand as you all know is a very famous writer playwright screenplay writer uh, and a philosopher also and somewhere she also said that um, and this is one of her very famous quotes i wonder if you we were impressed by this the question isn't who is going to let me it's who is going to stop me do you think that uh, this kind of uh, uh, encapsulates the character of sarkar in many ways it's so 100% because the point is when you take he's taking up a cause he, each and every person lot of people will feel an injustice an anger a sense of uh, a disappointment but they will not have the guts they will be answerable somewhere to the legal system somewhere to the society somewhere to what people might say or they have enough strength to tackle it right. but then every once in a while a very rare kind of a person comes 
who will say that uh, I'll, I'll just do it. I, mean, I, I want to speak up for it. I want to stand up for it. And he is not scared of uh, any threat to himself, and which is the reason he becomes uh, a leader. And Sarkar, I think, is the epitome of that. Right. Yeah. Rohiniji and uh, Yami, we're just going to address you as ladies first. Please sit. Uh, you can also sit. I'll sit down. OK. Um, why did you do this film, Rohiniji? Well, one day, I had got a message from Ramu, come and meet me. And I went and met him. I was the first. I mean, I was in his first film, Shiva, just for a scene, then second film, Raat, and then now, Sarkar Three. So whenever Ramu remembers me, I'll always be there, Ramu. You're yeah. forgetting the most important thing. I said, you're going to play exactly the opposite of whatever Kasturba stands for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that, that was a challenge, too. <laughs> that is a challenge, too. So that's why I am right, right. in this film. Yami, what about you? Why did you do this film? So first of all, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for having us here. And thank you for this response. And sir, you've got to be one of the reasons to inspire me <laughs> to be part of You know you're Sarkar not allowed to lie Chi. at this press conference. Am I lying? You think, <laughs> am I lying? Not at all, sir. And uh, to go a bit more detail into that, if I may badly imitate you, Ramu, sir. I remember I was as much as flattered I was when I got a call for Sarkar 3, but I was wondering that uh, uh, I was really uh, curious to know what the role is going to be. And uh, so when I walked into his office and I sat down, um, he said, this fair and lovely walk that you've just done, I just want to cut it. I think we, let's show you in a light that we've not seen you before. Let's see if the same fair and lovely girl can just pick up a gun and just shoot. You said fair and lovely so, walk? <laughs> yes. Didn't you notice all the <laughs> lizards and the, and, the, and the turtles on the floor? Uh, exactly. This guy has snakes and lizards loafing around maybe on the floor was, of his office. It, maybe it was not that It's catwalk, so intimidating. Catwalk, it, I was just trying to flip over those lizards and all. So it, but um, I, I think I didn't have to think at all the moment I, I heard the role. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did I miss something? You didn't have to think at all. I didn't have to think at all. Even on the set. So I asked him, I said, sir, any homework you want me to do? Anything? No. Just come. Just come on the set. So I said, OK, sir. So and um, I think here it is. I, I think it's, it's just time just flies and didn't even realize when it was one of the most quickest shoots I've ever done. And to be a part of Sarkar with uh, Amit sir helming it with Jackie sir with such stalwarts and drama. Yeah, there are two sir, Amits here. Just, just be please, specific, please. <laughs> yes, Amit <laughs> uh, I think I, I couldn't have asked more. It's one of those rare opportunities which, uh, which goes down with you. I think years, years, years later that I got to be a part of a franchise called Sarkar, and I think it just, I think it just says it all. So thank you, Ramu sir, for this. Thank you, Amit and sir. You're told, next. Uh, Sarkar, I just told Yami once one thing that. Uh, in a film like Sarkar, where there's so much of intensity and very evil, I mean, not e evil characters, menacing looking uh, people and all that, and then suddenly in the midst of it, I see this uh, pretty and petite, fair and lovely girl. What the hell is happening here? You know? <laughs> and so, but the intensity which she managed to, uh, I, I told her you can do it because I believe that all beautiful women are very mean in their hearts. So it's the most easiest to get it, get it out. <laughs> Amit Saad is, uh, is a new entrant to the Sarkar family. And Amit, uh, I want to ask you, um, I'm not going to ask you why you did this film. But uh, how did you do it? Firstly, good evening, everyone. And thank you for being here. Um, you know, just on a lighter note, I'll take this moment of glory, and then we'll surpass this. I had to be, I mean, I was in one, and I was in two, and I had to be in three, and Chiku had to grow up. <laughs> and forgive me for this. Now, let me come back to my senses. Uh, I don't, I say this with immense uh, humility and gratitude and 
whatever understanding I have of acting or life, I uh, I don't have the capacity to choose this film or to even dream. When I saw Sarkar one, when I saw Sarkar two, that I could or would be a part of this film, be a part of this world, be a part of a film with Mr. Mitab Bachchan, be a part of a Ram Gopal Verma film, be a part of a film with such immense, amazing actors that I've just grown up watching, you know? And uh, so it's just, I don't know how this came in. I, I don't know. I'm just very grateful again, uh, Ramu sir. I'll always be very grateful. I don't know how I've done, so that you have to comment on. Uh, Amit sir, I really don't have words to express my gratitude. And thank you for this learning and thank you for being you. That's all I can say right now. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. And now my Budu. <laughs> Budu, we worked in many films together. I don't need to introduce him. I don't need to ask him why he did this film. I don't need to ask him how he did this film. Just let him speak. Respects always, respects to Bachchan Sahib, to the whole team. I love you, you know that. I don't know why I did it. I was a rangila in my mind. And the government franchise. And the role. I mean, I got a chance to stand in a scene, so it's a big deal for me. And that's what I'm saying. I don't want to say anything wrong. But yeah, you won't do it or what. You gave it a role. <laughs> Simple, yeah, and uh, we worked together. I worked with Ramu. I've done a film uh, where he's uh, really handled me so beautifully, he's shown me looking uh, something I never thought I could look like sometimes in the film. And then I worked with Bachchan Sahib, and he's such a kind man. He's such a fantastic uh, person. Bhalu, Mirgu, sir. shot train ke beech mein patak ke maar rahe baba. So बार बार पीटे जा रहा था मेरे पास वो था नहीं कवर नहीं था कवच नहीं था मेरे पास तो इन्हें ऐसे बुलाया और पूछा कि would you like to I said thank you sir I mean कौन सोचता है बड़ू मतलब छोटी-छोटी बातें हैं दुनिया भर की चीजें हैं सर पे और क्या-क्या कर रहे हैं और कहां माशाल्लाह क्या मुकाम पर हैं और बॉस है सबका बाबा है अपना उनको अपने जैसे लोग दिख जाए तो बहुत बड़ी बात होती है तो इस पिक्चर में काम करना तो मेरा मतलब ऑनर है भाई बाकी जो भी रोल है एक सीन में अच्छा है मजा है आई जस्ट रिस्पेक्ट यू एवरीवन सेम मच आई मीन आई डोंट वांट टू लुक लाइक एन इडियट एंड अमित यू अमित सॉरी सर अमित यू आर रियली लवली बॉय एंड आई लाइक व्हाट यू सेड एंड फैंटास्टिक वर्क आई वर्कड विद यू एंड आई आई स्टिल स्ट्रगल एंड आई सॉ यू यू ब्यूटीफुल यू फैंटास्टिक रामू लवली सर Guru, you worked in two very big successful films, um, Happy New Year and uh, Doom 3. Oh, thoda sa jadu hamari is picture mein aap de dijiye please, taki ye film bhi utni badi ho jaye. Jadu sari, he's this is his. You see, na samay gaya na, Guru. Love ya for that. Thank you. You're lovely. Um, as producers, uh, perhaps, you know, Barak, you and others can answer uh, what you feel about the product, uh, what you felt during the making, and then we can uh, uh, pass the question and answers on to this audience who are dying to ask us all kinds of questions totally unrelated with this film. <laughs> okay. It's only Amitabh Bachchan, Amitabh Bachchan, and Amitabh Bachchan. This is the oh. only answer I have. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the other answers. This, this is... Um, 